Hey, what's going on, Aaron Chen? I hope you are doing well. If you're watching this video right now, you're probably doing some research on YouTube about how to create wealth from nothing, okay? So on this channel, I teach you how to build more success, more wealth, and more freedom using the power of the internet. So consider subscribing to this channel if you're not already subscribed. And in this video, we're gonna talk about how do you build wealth from scratch, from nothing, all right? Um, it's something that I was able to do um, over a extended period of time, and I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks in today's video today. Um, to, to teach you how you can start to build wealth from nothing, all right? We're gonna talk about the three stages of wealth as well, the, the wealth cycle, that's really, really important, right? So I'm gonna jump onto my little screen right here, okay? And, and first of all, let's talk a little bit about how wealth is really generated, all right? So if you're watching this video right now, you're probably working some sort of full-time job. Just understand that that's okay, you know? Building wealth starts from there. It starts with having a full-time job. If you're somebody who is not in a job right now, I highly recommend that you work very hard to first get a job, okay? So that really is the first part of, of wealth creation. Unfortunately, that's just where, you know, everybody starts, okay? So you need a, you need a job income, all right? And I'm going to talk about, uh, you know, some little things that you can do in terms of job income, right? Um, and that has helped me over the years to, to generate the maximum uh, amount of job income. Uh, the reality is, is that unfortunately, a lot of people, you know, don't have a very good salary. But the one thing that you can do in order to generate as much wealth as possible is to get into sales. Okay, and that's kind of what I did. Um, I never thought that I would do sales because if you think about sales, you know, sales sounds like a dirty word. Um, but when I read Rich Dad, Poor Dad when I was 15 years old, and you know, I thank my sister for getting that book in my hands. You've probably heard about it. If you've never heard about it, go and get a copy in your local bookshop. It's called Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. In that book, he talks about how sales is actually one of the best ways to get started in your life, in your career. Because the great thing about sales is that you're not limited by the amount of hours that you work, okay? Because you get paid commissions, right? So depending on how smart you are and how good you are uh, at sales, and if you put in an additional time, you can actually make quite a lot of money in commissions, right? So, um, you know, before I read that book, I never ever thought that I would be in sales, but after I read that book, my entire, um, you know, working career from when I graduated from 23 until I was roughly about 30 years old, right? Um, I was actually, actually longer than that, 30, 35, I think it was, can't remember exactly right now, but, um, cause I'm 39 years old now. Um, and basically that entire time I was in sales pretty much my entire career. Okay. And the beauty about sales is that you can earn a maximum, you know, you can really earn a lot more money than you can in, in, in any normal day job. And that helps you when you're building wealth. Okay. That's really, really important. Right. So it all starts with a salary, obviously. Okay. But if you can manage your career in a way um, where you're able to earn more money, then it's just going to help you a lot quicker, okay? Now, what, what a lot of people tend to do is they tend to jump steps, okay? So they tend to jump from step number one to step number three, which is basically investing, okay? And you don't really want to jump steps, all right? Because what tends to happen is if you're stuck in a job, unfortunately, right, um, you're not going to have that much money to invest in other things like you know, and, and we can talk about this here, like cryptocurrency, like uh, real estate, okay, like like stocks and funds, ETFs, or, you know, mutual funds, for example, right? Um, and there's lots of different things that you can invest in, but, you know, these are some of the, the different asset classes that you can invest in. And we're going to talk about another one really cool, uh, gold and silver, okay? which is really, really good. Uh, we'll talk a little bit uh, towards the end of this video. But these are the different things that you can invest in. Now, what a lot of people do is they take their job income and they go straight to the investment. But what they don't realize, unfortunately, is that with investing, that's a long-term sort of uh, wealth creation process, right? Um, you're not going to see the wealth for a, you know at least another you know, 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 plus years. Investing is a mid to long term strategy, okay? It's not a short term strategy. So what you wanna do when you wanna create wealth is you need to build short term, middle term, and long term wealth. That's a smart thing to do, right? So if you're not making that much money from your job income right at the beginning, you don't wanna put all of your savings into a long term investment. Does that make sense? What you wanna do is you want to you wanna do this in order, okay? So you wanna go from number one to number two, to, to number three, you wanna do it that way, okay? That's a much, much smarter way to build wealth, all right? So what's the middle one? What's the next one? So this is what I did um, after five years of being in my full-time job. So in 2009, I realized that I didn't really wanna be in a full-time job 
for the rest of my life. And even though I was making okay money, I was working very long hours, 12 plus hours a day, um, six to seven days a week. Sometimes I was you know, very regular in the office on Saturdays and Sundays. And after five years, I was burning out. Um, and I, w- I used to be a, a financial planner. This was you know, back in, you know, this was, oh, I started working in 2005. Um, and I, I wanted to find a way out because I was just so tired. I didn't have time to spend with my friends or family, you know, not much time for travel, even though, again, the money was okay. But um, I, I wanted a different kind of, you know, I guess, journey for my life. And so that's when I got introduced into this whole concept of doing business, right? Multi-level marketing, that was my first foray into business. Um, and to fast forward, you know, everything, what I eventually did was I, I was finally able to build a very powerful income online. And if you've been a follower on my channel for any length of time, you know that the majority of my income comes from affiliate marketing and internet business, right? So really that's the powerful word right here it's business okay so you want some sort of business income all right and and basically what you what you want to do is you want to take some of that money that you have from this and I, I'll, I'll do this in red oh sorry let me let me do this in red here it's kind of better thicker okay so what you want to do is you want to take some of that job income that you you're able to save and if you can save 10 20 30 percent Okay, that's actually really good. Okay, save between 10 to 30% of your income. That's supposed to be a percentage sign. I just kind of butchered that. Let me go back. Oh, let me just erase this. Sorry, guys. 30%. Okay, if you can save 10 to 30% of your income, you're winning. Okay, because most people don't even save any money. But you got to, you know, Practice something called delayed gratification. You don't need everything, okay? You don't need the latest flat screen TV. You don't need the latest iPhone. You don't need the, the latest, you know, Nike high tops or, or whatever it is, okay? Um, you just need to save as much money as you can. You know, practice delayed gratification. You can get those things later once you have the money, all right? Don't put things on your credit card. You need to learn to save more. And then take 10 to 30% of your savings every single month from your day job, okay? and then invest that in building a business income. That's how I did it, all right? Now, there's lots of different businesses you can start, but the thing that makes the most sense, especially in this day and age, especially if you're watching this video in the age of the internet, which I'm assuming you are, right? Is you wanna start an online business, okay? That's that's the smartest thing that you can do, online, all right? You wanna start an online business. You don't just wanna start any sort of brick and mortar business. I wanted to start a restaurant back in 2008. That would have been a huge mistake. You don't wanna do that. All right, you wanna build something online where it's cheaper, it's more scalable, it's more profitable, and you can also build lifestyle, which is amazing, right? So like me, for example, everything's done online. There are ways to, to, to leverage the internet. There's software, there's paid advertising, there's virtual assistants, there's video, there's automated webinars. There's so many ways to automate a lot of what you're doing so that you don't necessarily have to be there all the time. Now, does that mean that you don't have to do any work? No, you need, you need to do the work, okay? You need to work hard and, and you know, get to a certain level. But once you understand how to do this right, you can automate like 60, 70, 80% of this stuff, which means that you don't have to spend as much time on the business. Now, initially, you're gonna have to because you're gonna have to learn the process, you're gonna have to test, you're gonna tweak, you're gonna have to set up all your online assets. But once you get to a stage where you're making money, you don't necessarily have to be there all the time, okay? And that's the smart way to build any type of income, okay? Now, here's a great part about how you build wealth, right? So we've got, obviously, you've got the three different stages. You've got stage number one, which is what everybody you know starts at. You need a job, right? So the smart thing to do is you get a job or you change career paths where you can get more income for you know the job, for the amount of hours that you put in, right? And the best way to do that is to get into some sort of sales job that allows you to pay, that allows you to make more commissions, okay? Now, if, if failing which, if you don't wanna do that, then fine, stay in whatever job that you're in. Don't quit your job. Okay, that was a very big mistake that I made in 2009. I quit my job and I started building my business income using my savings. You never want to do that because then you've got your back against the wall. Okay, when you have your back against the wall, it's very difficult to build wealth. All right, so you don't want to do that. Stay in your day job, invest an hour or two every single night, every single lunchtime, every single morning or during your commute to the office and back and build your business income. That's the smart thing to do, okay? And then that's how you build wealth. So here you build, you, you, you know, you're making a little bit of, uh, yeah. So at the top there, you're making a little bit of money, right? Now at stage number two, actually, let me do this again. Okay, so stage number one, you're making a little bit of money, 10 to 20 to 30% of your savings, 
you can reinvest that right into business income business income you're making a lot more money okay and then what you want to do is once you start making business income you take the majority of that because and here's the beauty about building business income right is that the business income is the way to accelerate your growth that's your cash producing machine okay let me see if I got space here all right the reason why you want to do this this is your cash producing machine there is no better way to create big monthly cash flow than having an online business really that is the best way to accelerate your growth okay now once you've got that cash producing machine that is giving you 10 20 30 40 50 100 200 thousand us dollars a month right because you can do that with an online business if you're smart if you do it correctly right you want to then take most of that money if you can you know 70 80 percent of that and you want to put it into the third step of the wealth creation process with it which is investing okay so now here this is where your wealth really explodes okay now you, you're not gonna be able to do this in you know a year this takes a little bit more time to grow sorry I should have mentioned you can't do this in a few weeks you can do it in a year depending if you work hard and you take action right but this is a long-term business uh, wealth creation model okay so start with a job invest most of that well 10 20 30 percent of that money into building a business income online get that cash producing machine going and once you have that income then take 50 60 70 percent of that income and reinvest it into investments whether that's cryptocurrency real estate ETFs mutual funds or gold and silver okay so that's kind of how I've done it that's that's how I've been able to build my wealth over a period of time now this is not gonna happen overnight right this is a this is really a discipline that you have to learn and implement regularly over a period of time right but here's a cool part right and I want to show you this I want to show you how to accelerate this slightly okay the cool thing is is what I've done all right is I've been able to take something that I in that I'm investing in right now gold and silver and I've been able to move this into stage number two okay and you might want to check this out if you're interested all right so how did I do that well first of all um, what I've been able to do is I've been able to not only invest in an asset class which grows over a long period of time which is very very cool all right so gold and silver if you look at the historical data over the long term it's always gone up okay you're always gonna make money with gold and silver right and it's uh, a way to diversify your portfolio and move out of fiat currency because we don't know what's gonna happen to the dollar we don't know what's gonna happen to the pound we don't know what's gonna happen to the euro or the Malaysian ringgit which is you know the currency that, that I'm in right but we know that silver and gold because of the asset class will always grow over an extended period of time right now how do we take stage three and move it into stage number two well if you're investing in gold and silver and it's also a business type of opportunity like an MLM right where you can build residual income you're taking two things and you're putting it in one which is pretty cool all right so if you want to see how um, you know me and my team are building a multi-level marketing style business where you can build residual income you're investing in gold and silver which is an asset class that grows over a period of time and you're going to be able to leverage uh, not only you know hundreds and thousands of people around the world because it's a multi-level you know multi-level style business but you're also able to leverage tools systems software processes automation and online marketing which is really the thing that you should be doing anyway you I mean imagine taking a MLM style income right and then building it online where you don't have to speak to friends and family or anything like that and you can you basically combine MLM plus the online business model and the investment model then you've got something pretty powerful right so what you're doing is you're combining a few things in one so so basically if you're in your job right now and you're like Aaron what, what should I do should I take my savings and then build some sort of online business like you did absolutely I 100% recommend that you do that right that's how you build wealth but what if you could combine step number two and three together and not only build an online business where you're building a cash producing machine but you're leveraging a business model like multi-level marketing where you can leverage other people's efforts right and you're doing everything online but you're also adding the investment element that's pretty darn powerful right so if you would like to check it out um, you, there's a link right below where you're gonna be able to register for a free workshop where my business partner Vic basically shows you how to do all this okay so what I've done in this video today I'm just showing you how to build wealth from nothing okay so whether you're in your 20s your 30s your 40s your 50s is never too late to get started right the smart thing to do is basically do exactly what I mentioned in this video today right 
take your salary, save as much of it as possible, invest that into an online business, not a brick and mortar business. Don't do that. That's silly. Okay. Especially in the day and age that we live in right now, go online. The costs are low. The profit margins are high. All right. Um, and it's very, very scalable and you can sell to everybody all over the world An international business. You don't want a local business. You want an international business. And the only way to do that quickly scalable, is to do it online, right? And then take that income and then invest that and grow that, grow it, okay? But if you want, right now, what we're doing is well, we're showing people how to do this and combine, you know, again, two and three, okay, into one, you know, one level. It, it just, it, 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 it's like basically it accelerates the process for you, right? So instead of doing it slowly, let's do it fast or as fast as possible, right? Realistically fast, okay? And if you wanna check that out, then I recommend that you jump on the workshop by clicking the link below. My business partner, Vic, is gonna take you through how we're, we're doing this, how we're using systems, tools, processes, internet marketing, how do you create a lot of leverage, how do you get into gold and silver, and then how do you leverage um, the multi-level marketing structure to earn even more income, if that's something that you're interested in doing, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, uh, please give me some thumbs ups. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. I wish you all the best, and I will speak to you very soon in another video. Take care.